the bad report, the complaining, it went throughout the congregation and they began to believe this bad report. Now, what does Caleb do? What does Caleb say? I love this. We need to be like Caleb. Then Caleb, verse 30, silenced the people before Moses and said, we should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. Hmm. We need to be like Caleb. We need to have some friends like Caleb. We're going to say, no, we can do this. What did God say? God said, we can do this. I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to stand with you. We can do this. Because if two stand in agreement on anything on this earth, they will have what they say, Matthew 18 and 19. We need to be people that say, no, God said we can go up. God said we can have that building. God said we can do that thing. God said we can have this. God said, God said, God said, God said. And if God said it, let God work between every man a liar. So God said, and sometimes we need to say, what did God say? What did God say? What did God, and go back, what did God say? Not man, not what did I see? Not what did I say? What did God say? And cut down the client, the clutter and silence the voice of the enemy. Silence the voice of doubt. Silence the voice of fear. Silence it and put in the atmosphere of faith. Put in the atmosphere of peace. Put in the atmosphere of faithfulness because our God is faithful. So there are no despites when it comes to God. Unless you want to say, despite this situation, my God is greater and turn it around. But God, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He supplies all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So yes, that bill is there, but my God is greater than anything I see or experience in this life because I'm transcended. I'm in the spirit. I'm living in the spirit. So these things around me don't affect me in that way because my God is bigger than this. My God is greater than this. And he has to be. Why? Because he's God. He's sovereign. He's holy. He's omnipresent. He's glorified. He's omnipotent. He's great. He's mighty. He's powerful. He built this earth we're in. So yes, he's bigger than anything we can experience here because he's greater. So we will go forth in the things that God has called us to. We will go forth with our hands grabbing forth in prayer. Now we're not going to literally go in and take over. I don't want you to go into your work tomorrow and say, oh, this is mine. I'm going to take this desk. And the boss says, you're fired. You just got in my desk and took my things off. We don't want to do that. We want to possess things that God says, it's so important, are ours by faith. So if you believe that you're going to get promoted into a place where your your current boss is, you believe by faith and you serve well, you serve faithfully, you honor your boss, you honor them. And if it's for you to go up, so pray for your boss to get promoted to pray for them to move up, be praying for them. And then God is going to move for you. He's going to put you wherever you need to meet because you're not competing with your boss. If God told you that you're doing whatever God has asked you to do. And you're a blessing. You're blessed to be a blessing to that place. Your spirit is going forth. The Holy Spirit is going forth. Amen. And so we want to be people of prayer, not people who are ripping it out and, and terrifying things and creating havoc and strife, but people who are going forth according to the will of God. And then there's peace. There's peace. So we want to follow peace in this moment.